Prince Harry has returned to the UK, but he won't be meeting his father, King Charles, who is apparently too busy. Let's bring in Royal Editor of the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers. Rusty, good to see you. This is quite the royal rejection. I mean, also it's his son we're talking about here. Things must be really bitter between them. Well, very much so. Good morning, Sarah. Well, I mean, things certainly may have changed over the last day or so, because just before the weekend, people on both sides of uh, the family were telling me that they were very confident a meeting would happen. Certainly, Harry was flying to the UK. He arrived this afternoon. And he was very, very confident they would be able to have some time with his father. He last met him in February. They only got half an hour together, but I understand that they have been speaking. However, the King's People have said that he was too busy to see his sons. That tells you a lot about the fractiousness that still exists in this relationship. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's, it's layered, right? I mean, the King's cancer diagnosis obviously meant that he was only able to return to public duties this past week. Is it fair, is it realistic that his schedule is too full to see his son or is this just an excuse? Well, at this stage, it does look like it's a bit of an excuse because tomorrow he is seeing the Prime Minister. He has a garden party to attend to. It's one of the big duties that he takes seriously. You know, they welcome the great and the good of sort of community stalwarts to these uh, garden parties. And it is something that it's, uh, he's looking forward to. However, did he not have just half an hour to see his son? I mean, certainly Harry was yeah. very, very keen to see his father. He's only here for three days. There's a big Invictus Games anniversary tomorrow at St Paul's Cathedral. Then he's flying off to Nigeria to meet up with Meghan for a sort of mini tour, if you will, on Thursday. So it seems as though Harry has been snubbed, unfortunately. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't get it, though, Rusty. I mean, the King has cancer. Wouldn't he want to spend as much time as he can with his sons? He's come all the way. He's only there for three days. I mean, bring him to that garden party to see him for a five-minute visit. Come on. Well, it would have been nice for Harry to have a bit of tea and cake. I don't think he got that much last time. He was in and out the door very, very quickly. Now, listen, I think the relationship is very, very fractured, as I said, and uh, there's still a lot of water that needs to go under that bridge before the family come together. However, the king had been one of the leading lights of the family to say, listen, I think we need to sort of try and repair yeah. the, uh, the wounds that have existed over the last few months. Certainly, Harry wants to bring the family to the table. But has something happened in the last day or so? I mean, I think potentially... There has been. Maybe there has mm. been some words, some quarrelling that's gone on. It's still a pretty sad, sorry, state of affairs, unfortunately. Yeah, that's before William even comes into it. All right, Russell, thanks so much for joining oh, us. Appreciate Sarah. it. Thank you.